guys, PJ Boosted back at you with another video. Today we are installing a Tomei or a Tomai, tomato, tomato, whatever, exhaust on Jason's 2011 uh, Subaru WR, not, no, yeah, WRX, WRX. non STI though, just a sedan. Um, it's red, he just got this car, what, two weeks ago did you get it? Yeah, two weeks ago. Yeah, and it's super cool. It reminds me of Baby Driver. That's the car he drove. You ever see that movie? No. Never seen Baby Driver? All red, the all red uh, WRX. It's from that movie. So yeah, Jason's Baby Driver. Anyway, he just bought this uh, exhaust. It's what your second upgrade because you already did the Cobb uh, access right access port. Yeah. Yeah, he did the Cobb access port tune already on it. Uh, he just got a stage one running like 14 psi. You know, they're, pre they're pretty expensive new, so I wasn't gonna drop that kind of money. Yeah. What were they like? A th over a thousand, right? Uh, they're about 1200 new. I love this. I believe. And it's so light, too. It's in really it's good shape for being used. Yeah, I mean, the only thing that's wrong with it is on the, the resonator, it's just a little scratch at the bottom, but... Damn. It's not that big of a deal. No, they, It's not, like, cracked or anything like that. They probably slammed. Or whatever car it was on. I think they were lowered. Not at that point. Yeah. It doesn't fit that low. Well. Stock exhaust. Yeah, I honestly love these cars. Got the buckets, cloth, five speed. Yeah, the SDIs are six speed. Yeah? Yeah, these Did... transmissions are actually known to be pretty weak. I like the red stitching, I didn't even notice that. The engines are weak. Just kidding. There's a full walk around clip. All right, so Jason getting the car racked. Uh, this car actually is like insanely low mileage. What's the uh, odometer? It's like... Uh, I, I bought it with 4250, so 4,250 miles. 4,000 miles. This literally got bought new, drove like to and from work or whatever the previous owner dealership. did and then just parked. All dealership, dealership owned. All dealership owned. So this car was on a factory, and on an MSO when you bought so, it? Uh, the dealership... That's crazy. I uh, had it brand new in 2011, and someone bought the car, and they owned the car for four years and only put 4,000 miles on it. Uh, the dealership who I bought it from, who bought the car back from that owner, yeah, they uh, told me that it was a 67-year-old man who owned the car, so. 67-year-old man driving a red WRX. Yeah, he barely drove it, though. Makes sense. It was probably babied. When did you, when did you uh, bought, drove it home off the dealer, did you, like dust fly out the exhaust? Oh, you, you could tell like it was never, like he never really. He, ne it he never out. broke it in. That's crazy. Wow, that's awesome though to find such a clean car. This car literally looks like it could just come right off the showroom floor. Uh, this is honestly my favorite, one of my favorite body styles. And the red just really pops off nice on this car. It makes a really good accent with the black interior. Yeah, the light in red is actually a pretty rare color too. Yeah, you don't see them, and it's got a sunroof. I love sunroofs. Make a fun car in the summer, dude. So, yeah. What's next, uh, Jason, for upgrades? Uh, I'm going to put a Cobb 3-inch catted downpipe on it, and then I'm going to do the Cobb SF intake. Okay. And then with all that stuff done, uh, I'll be able to put the Stage yeah. 2 Plus tune, which that tune is uh, like 275 horsepower over 300 torque. And then if I get a pro tune good. with just those same mods, yeah. uh, you can make over 300. These are all-wheel drive. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's what I thought. So yeah, he's already got an advantage right there just being all-wheel drive. Uh, we just ordered up some snow tires for it. This should be here someday this week. Uh, get those mounted on because this is his daily. Um, drives it to and from work every day. So that will get some good traction in the uh, winter. But uh, snow tires will help him a lot. What do we got on here now? Are these factory tires or did they change them? No, these are factory. No way. They're old. Wow. I mean, they're in good shape. It's just no, a yeah, I mean, there's not rock, many miles on them, but. They're just probably rock hard. Yeah. I mean, going on, you know, that old. Over 10, 10 years, years old. Yeah. yeah. It's time to change them. Well, after winter, you can get some tires once you change out of snow tires. Yeah, in wintertime, I'm going to, or in springtime, I'm going to actually get wheels in summer tires so that I can still have these wheels with uh, winter tires on them. Oh, for sure. I like having two sets. What's that? This is the adapter you need to go to the factory downpipe because okay. the factory downpipe comes off with a donut gasket, and then this exhaust 
goes on with a regular flange style gasket. Yeah. Dude, you were dying to get this thing installed. He was ready to install it last night in his, in his freaking on the back, in his garage. And I was like, dude, just we'll do it at, at work tomorrow. We'll be able to get a little video out of it. Uh, you got the rack. I like, how, I like the red car and the red rack. It looks sweet. <laughs> Shake test. You can never be too safe. We have it going together. It's a long, long exhaust. This is a cool side by side comparison. Yeah, it's definitely going to be a. What are you going to do with the old one? Nice upgrade. Uh, I'll probably hold on to it. Yeah. You're going to cut it out? No, I'm going to unbolt it. Yeah. I can have my girlfriend come pick up the pieces with her SUV. You got an SUV? Yeah. See, a lot of people say you should put this up in a few different pieces, but I'm trying to put it up all in one piece. He said, I'm going for the whole thing. He said, I ain't playing around, man. I'm going to hold the adapter Hold in there. Here. Oh, shit. I got it. Thank you. Uh, this little prick. All right. Just put it on the one. Let's go anywhere. Doesn't matter. Okay. Honestly, if, yeah, it's the best way to get that threaded. Boom. Okay, I have to twist a little bit. I don't want to, I don't want, I want to go in straight. Is it going straight or no? Pick it up, Dean. Yeah, it's coming up. Just tight. It's because he's tilted down back oh. there. Up as far as I can go. Are we hitting anything? Spin. Yeah. Oh, it's gotta go over. Yeah, it's gotta go over that way. Quite a bit. Oops, sorry. Yes, yeah, sir. I can't wait to hear the sound. It's my favorite part. <laughs> you gonna gain any performance out of this? Maybe. With this tune? It should be like 15, but then yeah. whenever you do the other stuff too, it all just adds up. Because right now I still have two cats, so you don't really get the most out of it as you should. One cat, two cat. Man, you really like cats. I thought you were a dog person. Oh yeah, we're gonna have to do a little bit of all adjustments. Right. Little tweaks. Yeah, well that's why I left it all loose. Yeah, okay, so, well it's mocked up. It looks sick. It's a big, big tailpipe, that's for sure. <laughs> Look at that thing. I can fit. I can double fist this thing. <laughs> Crazy. Looks nice, man. I'd clean, polish the tip though. Maybe. I'll. Uh, you should definitely polish the tip. Clean that up. It looks sweet, dude. All right, man. You're only supposed to use WD-40. Really? There's got to yeah. be a, there's got to be some type of cleaner. I mean, I cleaned it with Dawn <coughs> soap and a uh, magic eraser. Yeah. But I mean, this tip you could definitely use some like yeah, light light like steel. Stuff on it. All right, guys. There you have it. It's mocked up. Super easy install. It took like less than 30 minutes. He left everything loose. He's just getting everything, you know, kind of mocked up, and then he's gonna make adjustments, start from uh, cat back, and work his way back as far as getting it all aligned and tightened, and then we'll better drop this thing down and uh, get a little sound clip before we end this video. Be all right. Uh, WRX so I hope you guys liked the video 
we're just gonna rack it up in the air, check for any exhaust leaks, and the install is complete. And uh, he is gonna be pissing off neighbors and making noise and uh, making boost. So anyway, guys, I hope you liked the video. Uh, make sure to like, comment, subscribe, and we'll see you at the next video. Peace.